Hello everyone! Welcome again to Block Tides Live Series 2021. This is Myrtle Ramos, the founder of Block Tides and also the official influencer of Coin Market Cap. How are you, everyone? Please press one if you can hear me. Sorry, my camera is having an issue again. So yeah, I wanna know how are you. Please press one if you can hear me. All right, so for today is actually our uh, our guest today is Dream Quest, Dreams Quest. So please go ahead and tag everyone here. So the mechanics of uh, each live that we have, of course, please go ahead and follow and like the following. Tag three friends on this post in this live series must watch the live series up until the end share and react to this post of course and of course must be a follower liker of all of the social media channels of block tides who is block tides and who is myself of course guys i've helped hundreds of companies to benefit transform their businesses to disrupt adjust or scale utilizing the latest technological tools products or help to build from scratch I'm the founder of an award-winning firm, Block Tides, and also we're catering marketing, growth hacking, sales, social media management, giving opportunities to people, media distribution services, investor relations, public relations, and of course, I'm a scholar graduate of Draper University for Blockchain and Entrepreneurship, powered by Tezos. I'm currently the VP of Growth and Marketing Growth and mark, uh, partnerships of Goku Market as well, the Global Advisory Board of International Council of E-Commerce, along with being recognized by the endorsements of the U.S. Federal Government, U.S. Army, National Security Agency, the FBI, Microsoft, IBM. I'm one of the global advisors there for EC Council. And by the way, the magazine for CISO mag blockchain is under attack will be released soon i'll be sharing that and i'm one of the uh, contributors there for the code that i have for cyber security we are also nominated for crypto awards by blockchain fest cypress also nominated for stevie international awards and the latest one is actually with a woman tech global thank you so much everyone for voting for us and yeah let me know where you're from, everyone. I want to know where you're from. And rainy afternoon is not raining here, actually. Yung Glim Dao is not working. Let me just go ahead and send it again. Send it again. Please do support. Please do support. Uh, Dreams Quest. And they're actually out already when it comes to the Cointelegraph IDO. Uh, announcement guys so please go ahead and participate on their IDO what is IDO initial Dex offering so what is dream quest dreams quest is actually one of the game fi already what is game fi guys game fi is game finance of course what are play to earn games so we all know Axie infinity already we all know gala games already so game fi by the way for those who doesn't know about GameFi, works on the play-to-earn model and can be termed as a platform for blockchain gamers, investors, and traders with an active interest in the world of NFT gaming. What is NFTs? What are NFTs? Non-fungible tokens. So, the platform is a digital NFT gaming marketplace that hosts popular play-to-earn game projects for players to participate, to play, to invest, and of course, by the way, we're not a financial advisor. Just an important announcement that this live series is only for educational purposes and involves uh, the risk of loss when it comes to investing in cryptocurrency. Please be aware and please be responsible with your funds at the same time. We are here to educate you properly. Please go ahead. Okay, shout out to LA Alcantara. Kirk Narud from Basay Negros Oriental. And of course, Malabon City. 
Valenzuela City by Arnold Arniego, Ivy Pantoja, Antipolo City, Bacolod City by your Jodeline Pineda Soledad. Hello there, Jan Jan Alipio, Jonabel Bells, Bacola, the City of Smiles. Sana lahat nakasmile. Sai Sangakala, Timothy Gadia from Quezon City, Jennifer Ekon from Valenzuela City, Alexandria from Coronado City, Donna Caballero Magtibay from Cebu City. We're all of, around the Philippines now. Thank you so much, guys. Another play to earn. Souls. Sultan Kudaran. <laughs> Sultan Kudaran. <laughs> Hello, everyone. And yep, let's go ahead and check if uh, the speakers are ready. Let me just go ahead and start their Zoom. Please go ahead and watch this commercial video by Block Tides. <laughs>
All right, everyone, let's go ahead and uh, let me introduce first what is GameFi Morb. So uh, while waiting for the speaker, they're still getting ready, of course. Give me a moment. So GameFi, another thoughts about GameFi while we're waiting. Please go ahead and share this live series up until the end. Uh, yeah, so of course, GameFi is actually, um, of course, GameFi is very booming now this year because of Axie Infinity and other games. So guys, please be aware of not giving out your private keys, by the way, for you to be able to, of course, mix, mix your funds safe, okay? So please do share this live series up until 1,500 so we can definitely help as well the project at the same time block tides. So let me just go ahead. The gleam is working, guys. By the way, I can actually uh, try using a different browser if it's not working on your browser. Please do go ahead and try incognito because it's properly working here. And yeah, it's properly working for other people. So go ahead and register. All right, so I'll flash another uh, commercial video here. Just wait and I'll introduce you now. By the way, Dreams Quest is actually another play to earn game, guys. So what is Dream Quest? So if you can go to their website, actually they're also another play to earn, which you can definitely see about the Guardians. So it's either up to you if you can actually guild up, team up with other players as well when it comes to, to uh, yeah, with the battlefield. When it comes to the speaker today and the team behind Dreams Quest, he's actually my teacher in Draper University. So he's a best-selling author, so digital and business strategist as well, sales ex executive, and of course, He's also related to BuzzFeed, DeFi, he's a public speaker as well. And of course, he's a lecturer, presenter and lecturer in sales, marketing and growth to over 100 entrepreneurs covered a range of topics on how to grow a business, conduct a case study challenge and evaluate presentations. Provided feedback and guidance on sales tactics, of course, strategy, subconscious and psychological tactics to engage customers and grow a business if you know draper university guys they're very famous and of course you can definitely get courses there as well with a reasonable price all right let me just go ahead and check one moment i'll be right back and flash the commercial screen i'll be right back
So I uh, just want to thank our time with, uh, you know, Block Tikes, you know, that they actually gave us this opportunity to you know, show you guys a little bit about what uh, the project is about. Uh, so without further ado, uh, I'm just going to go jump right straight into the slide decks uh, and just show you guys what uh, this is all about. So uh, Dreams Quest itself, we started about one year ago uh, and we were actually, you know, thinking about how to actually uh, bring the NFT space and the uh, DeFi uh, component together. Uh, and, and as such itself, uh, we, we actually have made a lot of pivots, uh, Pauli and myself. Uh, and Steve itself, uh, the, the, the three co-founders actually got together and came out of this whole um, interesting idea that we are able to actually give uh, NFTs a some form of a proper, nicer value, basically. And so when we when we built this whole thing together, uh, it wasn't we didn't even know that NFT gaming was going to be a next huge thing itself. And so when we started to gamify some parts of the, the business aspect, we came up with this, uh, this first ever, you know, um, dynamic NFT gaming platform. The, what this means uh, is that uh, we are going to have cards that's actually going to have uh, ever-evolving attributes, uh, you know, uh, as you go along in terms of the gameplay itself. And so what we, uh, and, and all this actually is going to be uh, powered by, by Chainlink itself. And that's why you, can, you see Chainlink as, as one of our biggest, uh, you know, supporters on, on the project, on one of our biggest allies. Uh, we are also partners with Polygon, as you can see uh, over here as well. Uh, so this, this whole game, uh, we are actually building on, on, on primarily on these two uh, protocols itself. Uh, so what Dreams Quest is, is a decentralized play-to-earn uh, RPG game uh, using the dynamic NFTs uh, that we have uh, that I've mentioned to you to create these unknown factors that will affect character in attributes in-game and post-game outcomes. The, you know, this will actually dynamically change like what I mentioned earlier and write them on the chain itself, which means every card after you have gone through a certain uh, um, randomization, you know, in terms of the gameplay itself, uh, the attributes will, will, will actually be, uh, you know, marked and, and, and scrapped on. Leslie, the, uh, do you want to, do you want to yes. actually give like a, a case scenario how this will look? Because maybe the, uh, yes. it's so, uh, better desc I mean, to describe it, yeah, like how, how this actually that. works. Yeah, so we're coming to that. And what happens is that, so let's give an example. So this NFT itself, let's say you are, you know, you you, you go into battle with, with these people, uh, uh, a group of us. And it, can I and can I actually jump in this? I think- Sure, sure, go I, ahead, I, go ahead. <laughs> maybe, maybe I help you out with this because uh, last time I, I kind of uh, explained this to someone and they said, oh, okay, now I understand because the, the text you itself do. is a little bit not clear in a way that if you, don't understand the concept uh, of RPG uh, and actually like the, the card battles, it might be a little bit um, foreign. So the way the game will work is that as many people played Diablo, for example, or Dragons and Dungeons, you, it's a role play game to start. So you will have your avatar, so your profile, your whatever cool name you're using as, as a gamer. And then you go off to exploring the Dreams Quest, the Dreams Verse. Um, when you go around in the lands, you can find loot, you can uh, encounter things, you can maybe find a, discover something, you can maybe do some uh, things that we will not be able to disclose it because, you know, we have to keep some things uh, secret until the game is out. Um, and as you go and discover the lands and finding the cool things that you can then later on, um, yeah, use in, as a trade in the marketplaces and, su and such, you incur maybe an enemy and then you and if, when the battle so so you go all around the rpg so walking around with your avatar and when the battle comes then then that's that's the time when you actually switch into the card battle and then you're using your nfts so as soon as you enter the battle we are using vrf chain link um whether um thingy i forgot the name it's uh, obscure or something and this basically will allow uh, the these unknown factors. So as imagine you have a first giant. I use first giant always because that's kind of the easiest one to use. We have a, a one character super powerful, super big. And let imagine you have that card and it's, he's very powerful and you have and you want to play with him. But your opponent has, let's say, peop, uh, cards that are more into infernal. So with fire and so on. So they are very powerful on the other side. And luck would have it that you're ending up in a Sahara desert. 
because the chain link will basically randomly pick and select the, the battlefield. Uh, so imagine Sahara, 45 degrees in sun, your first giant might not be as powerful and fast. It might be starting almost melt. So you can imagine the immediately the card attributes, the strength, the power, dexterity, whatnot will decrease. So you started with a very powerful card game card in your hand. And as you as you enter the battle, the attributes lowered. So you might not actually win in with your super powerful card. So that's kind of the, the aspect of the game that make you can you actually have big chance to um, like this is the strategy you have to put into designing your deck is such that if you only put ice cards and you will keep coming up with like uh, hot desert climates or something that is not um, working with your, with your deck, you may actually lose every time, even though your deck is super, super powerful. And so I think the what, one thing I was talking last time to some gamers is that uh, it's like a magic the gathering. You have to really put out your deck in a way that it, it, whatever you incur, occur, like whatever circumstances of weather conditions, you still can win or at least have a chance to win and supporting yourself with some magic and, and spells that obviously will be uh, in the game as well. Uh, I hope that's kind of, that's the kind of thing that, that we're talking about. And post-battle, all these attributes, all these, uh, the end, end game uh, attributes that are actually inside, uh, like in the battle, they will be uh, uh, recorded on chain. And that is what we call ethereal scribes. And this is actually the new attributes and the new power of your game. So whatever happens in game, it gets translated and stays there forever and it's all recorded. That's why we call it dynamic entities. And I'm sorry, it was a little bit long-winded, but it's kind of the <laughs> thing okay. I had to explain. We've got so an exciting go game, ahead. that's why, yeah. And yeah, so, you know, when we, when so what we introduced to you guys is that as a dreams hero, you know, we only believe that there's only one life. And the truth is we live part of our lives in this dreams verse going on quest as a dreams hero, right? So. As, as a character in a game, you guys will be inside the game itself and you'll be considered as a hero uh, for, for that matter. All right, so introduction itself, you know, who are your friends, you know, and who, who are your foes? All is uncertain as the Guardians of the Realms may have other plans in store for you, for your guilds too. So we, we have guild functions. We have, uh, you know, the Guardians of the Realms, which, we, which I think probably maybe later we can share a little bit if we can. <laughs> yeah, so those are some of the information that's coming out, uh, in, in, you know, uh, as you ask uh, more questions, right? And so, you know, your, your adventure, you know, the, the, ultimate, the, the ultimate enemy, you know, you know it's, it, it may not be as clear as you believe, but what you will survive is that, you know, uh, is that this quest itself may enable you to actually loot the, light, the dragon's lair. And so will you be left defeated or yearning for another chance as in, in a game itself? We do not know, right? So you've got to play the game to find out. And so your, your, when your adventure begins, you will choose a realm, which is like a celestial or infernal, and each of them are, is pro protected by the guardians, all right? So you've got to choose a race uh, and, and then, uh, or rather select a race and choose a like-minded guild to actually carry out the quest to, to, to play and earn. All right, or you can even adventure on your own. So this is actually the key to our, our gameplay itself. All right. Um, so this is a little bit about how the art looks like, you know, the Celestial versus Inferno. We've got fantastic arts, uh, you, know, as, uh, you know, all kudos to, to Pauli, who's, who's my fellow co-founder co over here. She, she's the one that actually vision, uh, had, had the vision to, to actually create all this beautiful art behind it. All right, so... Next one. So the dynamic bad battles, as what Paul has mentioned earlier, I won't repeat on this because this is what she just ran through and help you understand this. All right. Um, and what's more important is that these NFTs are not your average NFTs, right? You, you, these NFTs will, will be able to actually keep on increasing the, the attributes are all decrease over time. That's what she's mentioned and depending on the task that you do. Uh, and so these are the story quests that actually comes uh, out uh, on the adventures itself. So over a period of, of uh, these two to three years, basically, that we have really mapped out in, on our, our roadmap, we are going to have, um, you know, the three of these uh, quests that's available. Story quests, fraction quests, player versus player quests, right? So these are the things that's, that's going to be uh, in, in coming as an outcome uh, on the game itself, okay? The more interesting thing is this adventure quest that you guys want to be part of, right? Because 
you know, you, you get to actually have, uh, you know, uh, the, the going on to this uh, daily and weekly and monthly quest. And then you can have twin team quests where, you know, Christmas is coming up or you can even have crafting quests as well. So, so one of the adventure quests that, that, that Steve likes to share and Pauli and myself love, love to share is that imagine as, as you go on this quest, you are able to actually experience, uh, you know, certain attributes to be have uh, incre uh, increase in character. So assuming you are you have this ice giant right, and you are, you are going into a ice uh, uh, ice land itself, you're going to have an increment in terms of your attributes itself because of the environment uh, that that's actually presented to you. And these are the bonuses that that we have that's actually interesting in the, in the gameplay that may and help uh, the players to actually gain extra extra uh, uh, treasure chests, loots, you know, uh, and specifically only just for. For for the for for the lands that uh, they are, are in, okay. And so, uh, what's what are guarding quest? Guarding quest, we're gonna have, uh, you know, where they are able to open portals and you can send them, uh, send send the players into special missions and quests for that very rare chance to actually win, uh, your rare loot as, as well. And that is actually the, the most important uh, uh aspect of of one of the most important aspects of the game itself. Uh, reading the La Dragon's Lair quest itself. This is another quest that we have planned up for. And this is something that only the top, you know, uh, leaderboard uh, single players and top guilds can actually compete to actually fight in, uh, in, in a way, uh, once a month uh, Dragon's Lair quest, you know, uh, per se. All right. And so this is the upcoming one that we are going to have and launch. I think we'll reserve this, uh, you know, for this information. Uh, Pauli, you want to take this because this is like, uh, you know, the exclusive thing that's going to happen next week. Uh, yeah. So you want to share a little bit on, uh, on this? Well, I, I can't really say too much yet because we're still waiting for the official, you know, go ahead flag from the certain place. But what will happen uh, next week, you probably can find this information hopefully later on today or tomorrow on the social medias, especially in Discord, uh, where, where we always invite people to come over. Um, we we will have our first NFT drop. We founders edition, the Guardians. Uh, very very limited. It's going to be I think only twenty five Guardians uh, to sell in total. Uh, these Guardians will be introduced today in much more detail. So please watch out for article and couple of uh, videos that we've prepared to showcase the Guardians. Um, these Guardian cards will be. Like imagine like a demigod, like they will be able to help or or def or not not help <laughs> to uh, to like with your missions. If you want to have guardian. The guardians will help you to get more uh, whatever uh, aura uh, functions they will have. You will actually, as a, mem a member of the guild, if they join your guild, then they will actually give you all that extra power for battle, extra points, extra loot, depending on the variations. They will come in two ways, staked and unstaked. So more for like the crypto people, but basically it will be, one will be like gilded with, with the guild, both have to be uh, attached to a guild in order to get these benefits. One will be more like a, what we call a crypto orientated, which is like the DeFi aspect of it that the, you basically gain some uh, money like in all terms so you'll get some money tokens. for yeah yeah but it's 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 the currency in game so you yeah, get correct. some currency so some dreams and then you have uh, the the other side is more gamer orientated uh, and then, then you will basically receive all these extra attributes extra loot and all these cool things like extra power in fights uh, maybe some speed when you explore and or in battles and and all these cool things so um and more and more and more and more and more i'm not gonna um, yeah, spill all the beans yet because we, we, we want so, to make sure that you guys come and check out the article and, and, and read all about it. Uh, but the, the point is that those are super rare and there's very limited um, amount of them that will be ever minted. So if you don't get a guardian, you're going to miss out. Yeah. So yeah, yeah okay. basically, basically, basically remember that guardians rule, you want to have one, whatever side you pick, don't miss it. Thank you, thank you, Pauli, for, for actually put you in a for that little for that little <laughs> sales yeah. information. Yeah. 
Um, she's the marketing person in our company. And so uh, whatever I say, I have to go through her. And that's why, you know, I'm trying to clear things, making sure that she's the one explaining this and not me, right? So um, yeah, that, that's, that's the fun part of it. And uh, and the next part of this is actually the play to earn component. Uh, first of all, the game is free to play. All right. Uh, everyone, anyone, anyone can actually play the game. Uh, uh, the opportunity that you can get when you play the game is to actually go to uh, to have the earning function as well, which is a marketplace, first of all, or you can actually go on an adventure and quest. So you could be a player that, that could be not very good, but you end up you know, questing and finding a lot of good items. You could actually sell them on, 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 a, on, on a marketplace itself. And this is actually some part, uh, the, one of the many attributes or one of the many uh, you know, game dynamics you know, uh, that, that uh, allows uh, a player to, to earn. All right, so you get to sell, swap, you know, uh, find new items, participate in single play, explore realms. All right, for for new new, new items. And so yeah, the so roadmap. I would just jump is, in. Yeah. I would just jump in quickly, just for the the aspect of uh, play to earn and free to play. So um, we looked very hard in a way for on other gaming trends on the market right now, and the reason why we decided to do it free to play is that because we don't want to outprice anyone. Uh, I'm not going to name other games that you actually have to purchase a deck of quite substantial amount of money. And after very hard consideration, we decided that this is not the way we want to do it because we want everyone to be able to participate. We don't want to cut anyone out just because they are outpriced. Therefore, we decided it's gonna be free to play. So as you start your game, you will receive a free pack and then it's up to you how many hours and how much you're going to play to make sure that your pack is really worthy of the quests um, and then you can also go on adventures and actually find items you can forge items create new items and you actually go to marketplaces or find merchants that we will have as you, you're going to be able actually to set up a, a your own um, merchant uh, shop and you can then as a person who doesn't want to spend money in game you can basically just play for free and make money and sell and buy items trade um, earn some earn some things, and then you can even go in the shop, in the marketplace and upgrade your items. So this is kind of that component that is super important for us to to make mm -hmm. sure that people understand that we will not charge you to start playing game. After you get your first pack, it's all up to you how you're going to manage your your cards. Oh, hi Steve! I, I, one of our third co-founders co is here, so maybe he wants to say hello before we continue. It looks stuck. Okay, never mind. I'll continue first. We're having some time. Oh no, the frost giant <laughs> yeah. froze him again. You need to change the background for him, man. The frost giant is freezing in his come up all the time. <laughs> yeah. So part of the roadmap, guys, is that uh we 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 have already planned our you know the games all the way up to 2022 uh and 2023, to be honest. And the reason for that is because we understand that the gameplay itself uh and the and the gaming community itself. When uh, projects like this, uh, it should be actually planned from three years and above, uh, to be honest. And, and when we came into this, the, the founders, the three of us, when we came into this, we asked ourselves, you know, like what Pauli has mentioned, you know, what is it in it for, for a game, uh, for, 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 for an NFT gaming uh, place to, to be? It. And when we did the market research itself, we realized that there wasn't a lot of games that uh that showed a longer you know a roadmap uh, you know they were still discovering along the way and so we wanted to plan out something that will allow us to actually go uh, and take the distance all the way to uh 2023 for that all right so the team members um Polly do you want me to well, maybe go? maybe go back go back to the roadmap Leslie I, I would like to just maybe put some oh. some more uh, meat on the skeleton <clears throat> yes if that's okay sorry for the <clears throat> very uh, uh yeah creepy description but so <laughs> we we have um on this roadmap we only put like the big milestones but just just uh, we have some other cool things that will come in the meantime because as for any game uh as we know game takes time to create to make sure the quests are written the the lore is all tied and created and unity and, and all that 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 takes tremendous amount of time, even with big, big teams, as we know. But the, the way we're trying to create the engagement is through our communities. Uh, so 
please join Discord, by the way, because if you want to participate in giveaways, uh, exclusive NFT drops, and know what's behind the scenes, that's available always in Discord. Um, I'm sure um, Myrtle will share the links for, for our Discords later on, so everyone can actually click in and, and join. We have a lot of giveaways right now as well, so you do not want to uh, miss that one out. Uh, but going back to the roadmap, so as, as we continue through this, um, now we are obviously in 2021, so we are going into uh, IDEO next week uh, on DuckDAO, 14th of October, um, Red Kite and GameFi, same day on the 15th of October. And this will be a launch of our token. And from there, things will go just, you know, in the full speed, because then after, after that, we started to hire, we're already hiring, but we're going to increase the size of our team to speed up the game production. Saying that, we do not want anyone to wait all the way to next year to see something. So we've come up with a couple of mini games that will be ready by, fingers crossed, and I hope my game designers will not kill me, by Christmas, we will have a first mini game that will be a Guardian mini game, Dreams Quest, The Guardians. This game will be card battle game that you will be able to do some cool stuff. And I cannot tell you yet what, because again, I do not want to put a, a target on my head after on Monday. But the, the, the key is here that, so we, we don't want you to wait forever. We want you to have something to play. We want you to participate with us and already make a little bit of money, start trading the cards, try to, you know, start minting and forge new items and, and you know, start with us. So that's why, that's why we don't want to wait a year or year and a half for you to actually have something in your hands. Um, and as we continue, we will have more mini games to keep you going all the way to the final release. And it's worth to be part of our community now because we will have some uh, special programs for people who will participate in early testing. So if you want to be early with us, this is the time to join. So yeah, invite you all to join our community. Okay, let's you can continue. Panel. Yeah, to the Discord. Yes, to the Discord. Absolutely. Discord is yeah. all the way to, to the moon with us. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the team members, um, I, I think what I want to make a special uh, you know, mention is John Posey. If you, if, you, if you guys ever have the opportunity to interview him, you should hear how, how his brain works. Uh, and so he's, he's not from the crypto side of things. Uh, he, he has a background in, in uh, you know, the Magic the Gathering, uh, you know, World of Warcraft. Uh, and all these massive games that was done uh, previously, and he. Oh like, hi, Steve. So oh, Leslie. He, Maybe Steve. Oh, is, Steve hey. is finally here. He, he the first time <laughs> released him from Hello. the portal. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Steve, why don't you do the through, introduction? I was going through yeah. a portal. I'm sorry, and the portal got all scrambled <laughs> while I was passing through. I think through. you you ended up in different uh, metaverses, huh? Instead of yeah. here. <laughs> I was in the. Yeah. I, I I was not in the infernal or celestial realms. I was in the rift. <laughs> And as I'm you so know, sorry. Rift has a lot of unknown factors going on, and it just wasn't letting me get into either realm. So <laughs> I, I managed to. You were I got. I got out of the rift. I'm now. I'm now in some other metaverse. I don't know which one it is. I think it's Pharaoh Norsk, but that's cool. I like Pharaoh Norsk. It's, it's a bit cold here, though. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Steve, we we need to probably uh, you know give some time to for the Q and A. Uh, so I just want to quickly move sure. into that. Um, so the team members, you guys, I just want to uh, do a quick introduction, you know, Pauli, myself, uh, Steve, we're the co-founders. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys too much with this, basically, you guys can look for us on Discord or on, on LinkedIn itself. LinkedIn. Uh, you should be able to find us, yeah, yeah, you should be able to find us there, okay, guys. Uh, our, our team members, uh, Mert is our blockchain developer, um, and uh, we have our lead, lead uh, developer. Lead, yeah, lead developer. You got six, uh, you got six well. people on the team, right? Yeah. We've got more we actually. The other six. Uh, I think <laughs> Fine. I think we've increased another three more to be honest. Uh, but so this this is a bit dated. Uh, our allies, uh, I think uh, some you know, very big names that we need to make known is uh you know we even have uh, uh AU twenty one, uh you know Game Station, uh, all coin bars. Leslie, maybe Steve, stuff. maybe Steve will maybe Steve uh, let Steve yeah, because one. he's yeah. actually yeah. our our guy who's dealing with all the partners and he's really good at it and he knows them all. They literally. Please. Speak speak to them every day. Let Steve do a little uh, they, partnership uh, ally. I do I do get a lot of calls. <laughs> yes, so I do. mean, um, well, we yeah, I mean, we have um, a pretty amazing lineup, I suppose, of allies. So you know, thank God they 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 bend the knee to Dreams Quest. <laughs> so I mean, um, I mean, our our relationships with Polygon and Chainlink actually go back over a year already. 
when we first started talking with them about ways to mint coins, tokens, do things with oracles. Um, we uh, have some amazing investors that are individuals like Charlie Hu, who's one of the, um, one of the he's the head of Polygon China, uh, Walid Razuli, who's from uh, Tezos, which is interesting, but you know, he's really excited about our project. Uh, T from Polka Foundry. So they've come in and they're helping us. And they're of course, very big in the gaming space, which has led to us being on Red Kite GameFi. Um, Polka China, who are quite big and influential in the Asian markets, which is great. So uh, super cool. And Pluto's VC, which, yeah, there, there's there's also. So but from the Asian standpoint, also very influential. And then, you know, Black Dragon, which is more of a syndicate group uh, based in Europe, have been super cool and really helpful in getting us where we are. And there's just, you know, a lot of great investors that we're working with. They're not even all on the list here, but Twin Apex, yeah. to give a shout out to Almod. He's a he's super cool guy, been really helpful too. So... Yeah, and I don't want to lose missing, sight of the fact that missing, down the, yeah, we're missing M six. M six is not on there too. Yeah, so Garland Wan no. from M six is not there. So yeah, there's a lot more, but uh, also the MetaVest guys are super are great. They're they're like a gaming specialist group that works alongside with Crypto Banter. So um, you know, and Crypto Banter is also invested with us, which is amazing. Um, but of course, I, I saved the best for last, which is that our our frost giant. Is going to have a uh, is he's going through a transformation as such by going through another portal, and when he comes out the other side, he's going to end up pixelated in the sandbox, and that's thanks to our other investor and advisor Sebastian Bourget from the sandbox. So I'm I'm really excited. I wanted to kind of save that for the best because that I think that's just so exciting and cool to just mention that. And thank you, Sebastian, as well for mm -hmm. all your help. So there you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So you want to end up for stuff. everyone. <laughs> Steve, what's that? You want to end Rise of the, the Gnome the season two coming? Well, we got to get season one out first, but season two will come then. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I guess that's about it, basically. Uh, you know, when we, we end off this. Um, yeah. Um, so, Martha, you want to take over? Guys, please do prepare your questions for the team of Dreams Quest, and we'll go ahead and do the Q and A portion. We'll choose five winners for the best questions that we'll be able to choose, and once we'll be able to actually choose your questions, please go ahead and message us that you actually uh, are the one who is. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and flash the Q and A screen for the team of Dreams Quest. One moment, guys.
to be available via mobile? Yes. <clears throat> In fact, that's um, one of the first questions we ever had, like right at the very beginning. And um, it does pose some interesting challenges because we want it to be fully decentralized. <clears throat> but what the way we were approaching this is that we can still use the chain for um, showing all of this history and transactions of the cards. If people are playing on desktop, then of course they could, you know, literally be connected to their wallets. But though, for those who are not, we'll still be able to maintain the, the card history and showing all the card attributes and the changes to the cards and if the cards are rented or delegated, you'll still see the usernames updating on the cards, that kind of thing, the experience going on. Um, the interesting thing about being on mobile as well is that it gives us an opportunity to also be somewhat cross chain in the sense that if you want to withdraw your, your dreams tokens, we could potentially give you multiple places where you could withdraw them. So you're not limited to a single chain. So that right now gives us opportunities to do the Polygon if people want to take their coins and put it on the Polygon network, ERC network and the Binance Smart Chain network, but it could go other places too, which is interesting. So that'll be really neat. But yeah, we're, we're definitely mobile is for top priority for us um, to really give people an opportunity to be able to play and get in there without needing heavy equipment and GPU, CPU, memory and all that kind of stuff, because that's too much for, for a lot of people. Even for me right now, I don't even have the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's a lot of um, mobile users, to be honest, right? So example, yeah, when they're I mean, working, huge. yeah, they're- yes, when Nowadays, they're... everyone has a mobile phone, right? Like, if ask anyone, and even grandmas have mobile phones. So if, if you don't want to capitalize on the mo mobile phone and, and give opportunity to everyone that, that uh, originally we, we were a little bit uh, not looking at that because uh, like you mentioned, it's all about the decentralization, mm -hmm. but then, actually few investors specifically metaverse guys big shout out again um it, they they kind of were saying that maybe we should consider that and we started to talk in the team and finally we reached the conclusion that we just have to do it because there's just no other way we can yeah not there, there was no way we cannot do it so we have to <laughs> as you said there's really another good question here. It's just like a job interview, but this is most important, you know? So 10 years from <laughs> now, how do you see yes. Dreams Quest? Wow, that's a great question. <laughs> well, do you know what? It's interesting because there's, um, there's a little bit of a reality check to do as well, because when you look at games, games development and the life of a game, Mm -hmm. there's not many games that last more than four to five, maybe six years in terms of their life history. That doesn't mean that the company doesn't still exist because we have bigger ideas that we haven't talked about publicly. Maybe I'll share some of those now. Um, one of which being that with the sale of assets that we have from the game, there's no particular reason why we can't also acquire other games companies and expand. I mean, the reason the company is called Dreams Quest Interactive is because we want it to be an interactive experience for users over time. So I don't have any reason to think that Dreams Quest wouldn't be around in 10 years because we have so many cool ideas and so many things we want to do. Um, it would just create an opportunity to do a lot of different things, to pivot many different directions. But in the meantime, we also have other games ideas now too <laughs> that we might also pursue. Maybe those weave into Dreams Quest and maybe they spawn into another game entirely. So. We, we have a, let's say, a much bigger vision about Dreams Quest Interactive as, as a project, as a company, as a, as a games maker to really go in a lot of different directions and to create um, a Dreamsverse that really allows people to have fun doing lots of different things. And, and we know that people don't want to just play one game. I mean, they don't do that today. I mean, I play a lot of different games on my phone when I can five, squeak in five minutes between work, kids, family food <laughs> but yeah i think dreams quest as a, as a as a group will be around i would love to see dreams quest the project uh be around for 10 years i think that would be amazing uh that's certainly something we would love to achieve but we're not going away we're gonna keep building new ideas and new things as we progress and once we have opportunities to do that just imagine uh friends as a show right how many seasons they were out and we already planning season two and we just saw the season one so just think think about it this way that like our imagination is so out there already we have so many ideas what the next season will be that uh, 
trust me, you're not going to get rid of us so quickly. We're going to be here for a while because we have all these things we have to bring to the markets for, for all of you to enjoy. So another question. So it's very important for us to consider the software in the cell phone, right? Would you be available in iOS as well? Because a lot of games is not available in iOS. Yep. Well, I'm an iOS guy. So if I can't play my own game, I'm not going to be very happy about it. So yeah, I mean, they're, they're, when we say mobile, we mean Android and uh, an iPhone, um, 100%. It's got to be both. I'm also an avid uh, Apple user. Yeah. So I, like, I need to play my own game. So that all, we are all, all on this. All three founders are iPhone users. So maybe the it. iPhone version comes up. No, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I, I think we'll probably have both versions around the same time, but I, I don't know which one we'll prioritize. But I didn't exactly want to go out and buy an Android phone. But if we need to for testing purposes, we probably will because we need to make sure they're both working really well. Yeah. Um, and on that note, actually, we're going to be wanting to ask people to become early, early access users. So, you know, if you want to do that, you got to become part of our community by joining us at discord.gg, as in golf, golf, forward slash dreams quest. Because that's, that's where all the action is. Steve, it was, it was GG, game, game, not golf, <laughs> golf, but I like your thinking. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but you know, I haven't been able to get to the golf course in weeks now. So I just know, the first word, I yeah, know. game, game, golf, game. Game, game, <laughs> <laughs> golf, game. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, guys, I already shared your Discord, so they'll be joining. The community will be joining. Thank you. And welcome, everyone. Yeah. One important question: Can Only we one? report? No, no. One important question: Can we report a player who is actually done offensive or negative, disrupted behavior? Sure. Uh, why not? We haven't had anybody ask that before, but of course we can do that. Yeah, um, they're really a gamer here when it comes to the Philippines. So, especially in Mobile yeah. Legends. So, of course, we can actually <laughs> report them. So, is if they're I, toxic. I think the best way to address that. I, I'm I'm thinking the best way to address that might be that we we report it to the guardians because the guardians are the they are the realm keepers and they are like not a DAO per se. I mean, you guys, I'm sure you guys talked about that a little bit, right? About how our guardians are. Kind of these really special unique cards that people can own that are governing each of the two realms so i think that in order to create more community i mean i'm thinking out loud here it might be smart to alert the guardians when there's a problem so that our community itself can actually look at it together rather than it being about us specifically because we don't want to be seen doing censorship or doing all the things that we see that are going on you know in the media companies today where you're not allowed to say the word blockchain and then you're at your episode on youtube gets taken down like which happened to me so oh, um, i didn't know that <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <clears throat> yeah i've actually had problems like on youtube because we had the word blockchain in an episode it's called what is a blockchain <laughs> so we don't want to be very dangerous the, the <clears throat> yeah we don't want to be the single voice of truth we want the community to be able to to uh you know have a say and we have to do it in a in an appropriate way so i my thinking right now might be that that's where our governance uh, aspect of what the guardians can do could be really useful and the, the, the thing that might be useful to do is just park the individual to the side temporarily rather than just blast them out of the game um, you mean you know, in the dungeon great question <clears throat> yeah to, to put them in the dungeon and then uh they got to stay there until someone comes to talk to them and it'll be a key master and the key master will say, let's see now, what do we do with him? <laughs> so, or her. Yeah, and so okay. I'm thinking out loud a little bit because it's an awesome question. It's, you know what? I'm, I've done like 15 AMAs and not a single person has asked a question like this and I love it. So, oh, so whoever it was question. that asked the question, please say thank, thank you to you person for that question. <laughs> it's an awesome question. Exactly. Yeah. It's I'd say that's the number true. one question I've had. It's the number one question I've had in all the AMAs I've done. So awesome question. Thank like you so points. much. We should actually we should actually grab it to our FAQ later on. So we actually because yeah. what Steve said, I completely agree, and I'm pretty sure Leslie, I saw him nodding. So I think he's really on that, on the same wavelength. I and also that will play very nicely in the way we want to structure the game, which is very decentralized and community owned. Like we do not want to be the this you know the hammer that says, okay, you're out, you're in. This is all about community working together and building the dreams verse as as a community 
Uh, that's why we have guilds and, and factions and all that stuff. So that I think will play very well in the whole, um, just uh, the, yeah, the values we want to put out there for people. Yeah, and, and, and maybe even on that matter, if you, if, if you have a bad actor who's part of a guild, then naturally the guild members could ban them from the guild. And if the guild has a guardian that's bonded with them, then of course the, the guardian is now become aware and can, could potentially transmit that to other guardians and say, look, be on the lookout for this person who's caused trouble for our group. We've now lost sight of where they are because they've wandered off somewhere else in the realms of the game. Although the they probably have the username. That we we yeah, probably have to rogue. have like the rogue look, <laughs> the rogue list. <laughs> they got lost in the rift. They got lost in the rift like I did, stuck in some crystal trees and can't find their way out in the crystal forest. I don't know, but um, but yeah, I think there. I think it, there's, a, there's a number of mechanisms we need to put in place for that kind of thing. Um, also, things like bot farms will make sure that you know there's no sort of automated gameplay stuff. I mean, that's just not cool. So um, if it's on mobile, we're certainly not going to make that easy. <laughs> oh, thank you so um, much for the great yeah. answers. And another great uh, great question is actually, are you planning to add more feature to the game that will benefit both parties? No, nah, we're just going to do this and that's it. We're going to balance out afterwards. No, yeah, of course. <laughs> <clears throat> oh my God. I mean, look, we have so many ideas. Um, have we talked about the Frost Giant yet? Not yet, but just well, a glimpse. Uh, okay, we... well, so let me, let, me, let me just give you an idea of how there's no limits to what we can do. Do you see this frost giant behind us accidentally walked through a portal? The portal and behind you. And when it came you. out the, this is kind of a once upon a time story. So once upon a time, this, that, this is a photo, that obviously it's a photo because it's not moving right now. But once upon a time, I was sitting in Faranorsk with this, this frost giant and he was like really angry. I was gonna say something else, but yeah. He was really angry and he took off and he stumbled upon this portal and walked through it. When he came out the other side, he was pixelated. Oh, wow. So, yeah, and ended up in another land, in another project. And very soon you will see him appear in that other project, walking around, slamming his sword around and saying, I'm Oh, not. he's so, visiting other yeah. metaverse then. <laughs> yes. So there's no limits to what we can do in terms of traversing metaverses between ours and others. And that's half the fun of this because we can create uh, unique characters. We can create uh, re uh, relationships with other projects and allow our cards to have unique attributes or characteristics or be in places that you wouldn't expect, which creates uh, both collectible items as well as maybe we'll find a way to create the pixelated version back in our game later too, who knows? So yeah, there's lots of things we can do. Um, it is the beginning of our journey, but we have we have lists of lists of ideas. We actually, in our Discord itself, as a, as a team, we have. Uh, it's called what's the name of the group? Wild the ideas. Channel? Wild, Wild ideas. ideas. Yeah, that was Leslie's Leslie's group channel called Wild Ideas, and you know he was the one that starts off with, "Hey, let's just throw people in the dungeon and make them buy a key to get out." <laughs> So if anyone has own. to buy, if anyone has to buy a key and pay, that's Leslie. Leslie. That's Leslie. Yeah, so I'm, I'm so Leslie. all I'm I can say, I'm the yeah, all, one all I can say is when we actually implement the dungeon inside of, of Discord, I would kindly ask everybody to please make sure you upvote Leslie into the dungeon, and then we'll make sure that there's no keys available on the marketplace at the same time. That's all I can say. <laughs> so oh, yes, wow. we're gonna have like a, a little fun. invite. <laughs> <clears throat> and by the way so uh, i just i just want to maybe that's, add that's before... said with love leslie you know that it's said with love just <laughs> let's just dump them in the dungeon please. it's always with love <laughs> yes so uh, another thing that what i guess we did not touch on is that <clears throat> like just steve uh, mentioned the the transversing into different metaverses our um i think like a company uh, one of the company uh, values and, and wishes and wants is to connect with other gaming projects and create this beautiful ecosystem. Because uh, I don't know if everyone remembers to mention that we know that people do not play just one game. And, and this is okay. We want people to play different games. We want people to play our game as well, but we want people to be uh, you know, able to switch between games and maybe they have a game they love and they want to bring something over. So we will have cool things like uh, people can actually submit 
um, and other game projects can actually connect with us. So if you're gaming project out there, please connect with us and see if there's uh, something we can work on together because that's kind of the whole thing about blockchain space. It's it, like you can't do it on your own. You need to have your beautiful ecosystem. And the more the merry, like there are so many great projects out there, so many creative minds and, and all that. So like that's kind of where, where we want to be. It's in the, like surrounded by allies. We don't want to be alone. We want to have our own guild of allies that will support us and we can support them and, and have something beautiful happening for the community because it's all about community at the end of the day. Like That's community right. is number one priority. Yeah. Yeah, allies are and, the best. <laughs> and can I, can I just, I'm sorry, Mortal. Can I just say something? Because I know a lot of people will be watching this and yep. just we are looking, we are always on the lookout on good creative artists. So if you look at the, the pieces that we have behind us, if you have a knack for that type of 2D, 3D, please join our Discord and join our job section and submit your, your work. And you might be actually working with us as soon as next week, who knows? <laughs> so please, we invite all the artists, uh, also Unity, the game devs, uh, yeah. anyone who has like skill in game, design and development please shout out yeah. come join us all right we are hiring yeah. so go ahead yeah. and join discord we're, so you yeah, can definitely go ahead and yeah. apply for the job go ahead steve we've also got more open slots for community for for moderators in discord um because our moder our discord has gotten very busy very quickly and we have some insane promotional things going on that is going to just rock the channel and i can't mm -hmm. tell you what it is but when you see it you're going to be like oh my god that was so awesome but it means we need more moderators we need help <laughs> language skills russian spanish japanese um you oh, know sorry. your your, your language whichever language yeah. yeah we are we are covering tagalog already so the philippine community has already been taken care of as the, as has the vietnamese channel the Chinese channel is already there. The Spanish channel is, is coming, but we need some help. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you're if you're a language speaker and you're a moderator, or you just want to get involved, then get in touch. Yes, uh, thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to join Discord for for you to be able to, of course, know the opportunities <clears throat> that Dreams uh, Quest have. And another great question: Are there any additional characters every season of the gameplay? Oh, actually, so yeah, let's, so let's just talk about that. I mean, in order to have a game that has a, a strategic deck of cards for battles, you need lots and lots and lots of items and cards and characters. So this is not just, oh, I have my deck of cards and that's it. This is all about constantly releasing new items. Now, a lot of those items you might find going on quests. You might discover something going through a portal. If you've got a guardian that's bonded to your guild, you're going to get increased possibilities of finding items, finding uh, magical chests and being able to open them. So there's going to be all sorts of ways that you find either character cards or inventory items like spells, potions, scrolls, rings, gauntlets, boots, whatever. And all of them can be used in different ways in game battle. So there's going to be a constant flow of new cards. There will also be decks that are, are, you know, like mystery bags, kind of like the way that um, Hearthstone and Magic the Gathering do it, where you, you, you can buy like a deck or a little pack. And in that pack, there will be, let's say five or seven or eight cards, whatever. And there will always be a chance of getting a, a you know, a, a, a rare or an epic card in that, in that pack, because I mean, the price of the deck, or the price of that pack will be a price. Huh? What was that? Uh, there was an okay yeah so there'll be yeah so there's there will always be uh the opportunity to um to buy packs of cards and then you'll get new cards of course and they're you know and like normal when we have uh, different seasons like halloween or christmas or new year's or chinese new year or diwali we can do things tied to seasonal things we could do this things tied to winter, spring, summer, we can do things just tied to, hey, we've got a new limited edition pack. There's only gonna be 5,000 of them. There'll be no more, or there'll only be 2,000 of them. So you never know what you'll get because they're all limited edition cards. So yeah, it's gonna be a constant flow of new things so that people have different things they wanna gather and collect. But, and here's the kicker. 
remember that when you're out exploring the realms and you're uh, uh, in your questing, you will have limited inventory that you can carry. So if you stumble on something really cool and epic and rare, whatever it is, and your inventory is full, it means you're going to have to drop something else that's in your inventory, e.g. your wallet, if you want to pick up that new item. So I will, all I can say is manage your inventory wisely. Sounded almost like financial advice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is not financial advice, but just manage, yeah, do your own research and manage your, and manage your inventory wisely because you don't want to come across something really cool and go, oh, damn, I have to drop my so, sword of deceit because I've got this really amazing weather spell that just like transforms in-game battles. And you'd be like, oh, God, what do I do? I don't want to drop these things. I have to drop like six things to pick this thing up or drop one that's got the same, you know, weight. What do I do? So yeah, we'll, we'll make it. <laughs> it's uh, the game. Yeah, Sorry, actually, it's not NFT collection time here. Yeah. Yeah, so much uh, happening inside the cards as well as there's a lot of questions when it comes to the gameplay itself. But let's oh, get yeah. actually into the uh, important part. Are you ready for mm. a massive traffic to your game? Can we play the game without any lags? Well, the game isn't out yet. Are we waiting for lots of traffic? Yes. Are we waiting for a big <laughs> community? Absolutely. That's why we're here. Um, we do have two mini games coming out um, that, we're, that we're building because we recognize, and again, listen to what you guys in the community told us, which is you want us to have some things out that you can try and play out, play around with. So we have uh, Dreams Quest Guardians, which is going to be like a mini series, mini game for just you know, some classic gameplay around the battles side of things, just to showcase some of the things we can do. Um, we may run it on testnet. We may let you earn some coins from it. We haven't decided that yet because we're still in the process of developing it. Uh, and following that, we've got another game, mini game that will come out called Dreams Quest uh, Kingdoms, which is more around the, the marketplace concept around buying land, having your own uh, shop, uh, being able to buy and sell items off other people, place uh, off of other people. So it kind of showcases how a marketplace doesn't need to be our website. A marketplace can be more like an Etsy, where different people have their own shops. They can be shopkeepers, they can be blacksmiths, they can be um, wizards, they can make spells, they can mint, not mint, uh, they can uh, forge, forge items. Yeah, I got, wait, whoa, I went to blockchain for a second. I know. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can forge items, they can um, create potions by mixing things together. So there's all of that kind of stuff. There's a lot of things to experiment with. And that's the kind of stuff that we're going to do in uh, Dreams Quest Kingdoms. And that will give us time and get all, give all of you time to get a little bit more acquainted with what we're doing from a web perspective as we prepare to do all of that into a mobile version and then to incorporate it all later. That's actually and there'll be lots of stuff going on in Discord. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh, that's actually a great question uh, answer. And another one Thank you. is actually, how can we assure that our investments are safe from hackers? Is the security of the game reliable? And we're hoping while logging in the game, it will have a two-way verification in order to log in. That's actually yeah, the so last question. Yeah, okay, so I mean, security is paramount. We've already been speaking with Certic and not about doing a one-off audit, but doing regular uh, monthly or time-based audits so that we have a constant assurance that whatever new stuff we're doing is compliant and keeps everyone safe. Of course, if we run this as a game and the game mechanics are all about mobile gameplay, then the actual coin itself would be sitting custodially meaning it's not physically available to you at the front layer. It would be one layer underneath, which already creates another level of security because it, it decouples the individual from that initial control, which means we have more time to stop hackers. Um, definitely, when it comes to gameplay, we want to make sure people have a really, really fun, engaging experience, but they need to feel safe. And that's a huge. It's got to be done safely because now we're dealing not only with gameplay, but also with people earning money that they need to earn to be able to pay for things in their lives. So, so yes, that's priority number one. And we've already, as I said, started our conversations with one of the top security uh, companies for uh, audited blockchain 
but we have another firm that we're already talking to who's, um, let's call it a level up in terms of things like um, uh, hacking, um, like ethical hacking. Mm -hmm. And we've already spoken with them a few times about the possibility of getting involved with us to do more of the ethical hacking and verification of things that are not blockchain specific, but more about all the vectors that one can have, like cookie tampering and, um, and hidden variable manipulation and all that kind of stuff which you really don't want to have people messing with because you could really hack into something. It could be a game or a website or something else. So, so yes, we have uh, big plans on the security front. Awesome. So uh, last one is actually, what's your advice for everyone? Last message to the community before we end. Join our Discord. Join <laughs> Discord. Oh, my, my, yeah. my, my, recomm my recommendation, no, my recommendation would be you don't want to miss out on having a guardian because they are <laughs> epically cool and there are some very special collectible ones that will be on Binance that will be nowhere else. So they will be like a collectible Eve, that item was that you can our, use that, that was to our, redeem. Out of the cat. Yeah. yeah. Eve, you're always are, releasing well, alphas, but you know, basically, you know, Paulie and myself. Yeah, like, of course you want to be in our Discord so you can find out. <laughs> Yeah, but you want to be in the Discord to find out about that. So we're letting people know that everyone else that's not in Discord doesn't know about it because we're not telling people unless they're in Discord because that's where our main community is. And everybody that goes to Telegram will find out after. And I'm sorry about that, but we want our community to be in one place. And the only way to do that is to really drive them to want this, to get the you information. You don't have to be so, sorry about FOMO. it. <laughs> well, no, I mean, a lot of people just want to be in Discord, yeah. just want to be in Telegram and hang out. But unfortunately, this so, I mean, unfortunately for Telegram, there's so much more we can do to unlock rooms, lock, as I said, lock Leslie in a dungeon, which is just a channel, but you can't do that in Telegram because either he's banned or he's not banned, but at least in Discord, we can have lots of different rooms. We already have a chamber of secrets, and in that chamber of secrets, there's a whole bunch of hidden rooms. The question is, how do you get into one? Oh. Dum, dum. <laughs> <laughs> so, That's interesting. So yeah, I would say... Yeah, so being in Discord is big, but I think that, you know, quite honestly, the more I look at what we're doing with our guardians, I, I'm going to make sure I buy one too, because we're not yeah. taking anything for free for ourselves. All right. So, just, yeah, I mean, just, just yeah. so you know, guys, uh, our team don't have special privileges in terms of buying <laughs> our own <laughs> NFTs. So we're still no. subjected to the same community <laughs> efforts. We, we want to buy our own NFTs, but, you know, when we are having our conversations, we're like, is this going to be for us or I say no it's all going to be from community because if it's the one thing that the mantra from all founders we be, we keep emphasizing is to listen to our community actually yes mm -hmm. exactly and that's what steve has been pushing forward so if you guys have any questions or suggestions you know or you know you can actually just join this group and start communicating and start telling us you know give us um, some ideas as well it's constantly growing the space Right, so we never know. Yeah, uh, on hindsight, you might, you guys might have discovered something even more interesting than, than, than that. And is it something that we can incorporate to the game? That's that's when our research team will come in and and and, and research and do that. Basically, we have a in-house research team that goes around looking for for the best kind of uh, gaming techniques, you know, for, to actually uh, incorporate into our our, our game design. So, um, yeah. yeah. So join us. also for the partnership side of things too, so that we can also try to reach out to the projects and see yeah. what can we do to collaborate because you know in the in the traditional gaming space there's tons and tons of games but in the crypto space there's not that many so when people say to us but aren't you guys worried that Axie infinity is so big or that there's star atlas or there's cross the ages or whatever or splinterlands and we say no because there's not that many games in crypto this is like we're early you know go look at activision and blizzard and, <clears throat> and all these oh. games there's hundreds of games to choose from how do you pick which one yeah. do you pick now? At least in crypto, we're, we're hopefully one of the, the top five or 10 you want to play, which is cool. If not, maybe we're number 11. I'm okay with that too. <laughs> it's still, Always achieve still for the best, big. Steve. We can do this because yeah. you know you said that there's no <clears throat> limit. <laughs> That's right. All right. So any last message before the three minutes ran out? <laughs> No, well, I could have done it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean, just, just that... a big shout out to the community. Thank you for coming. Yes. And I'm sorry I had some technical glitches this morning, afternoon, whatever time it is. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's been it's been amazing being here, and I really appreciate it. All right. So yes, I'll... I just want to. I think I would just want to say that please join our Discord because there will be some cool things happening as as early as tomorrow. 
Um, right. We have amazing competitions. And like I said, if you're looking for opportunity, please join us. Yes, there's a lot of uh, people going to apply. Actually, it says in the comment section, they're going to be inviting right. their uh, developers. And uh, of course, here, art is very uh in and part of our culture as well and there's a lot of great talents here so of course i will let them in inside discord as well thank you welcome everyone all right guys thank you so much for your time and please stay safe and i'll send you the recording for this so we, we can definitely post that on all of your social media channels okay please stay safe and healthy thank you so much for your time today bye bye thank, thank you. you bye Thank you. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoy the uh, information and of course the AMA with Dreams Quest team. So now let's go to the raffle giveaway. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me know if you're ready. Please go ahead and share this up until 1,500. Please don't forget to join Discord channel. Hold on, let me just go ahead and paste it again. One moment. This is the Discord channel of Dreams Quest. Please go ahead and join everyone. Alright, so... We're going to be doing the raffle giveaway now. So please press 1 if you're ready. Please press 1 if you're ready. Shout out to Edrin Manlapas. All right. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this guys. Let's reach 1,500 shares because I can only see 646 shares here. So let's go ahead and I'll give you a time up until 5.45 for you to be able to share this live series. Up until 1,500 shares. And the raffle today is actually 300,000 tokens of Dream Quest, by the way. So that can, uh, of course, there's a lot of people falling in line just to have the tokens of each project for them to be part of the IDO. But right now, Dreams Quest is actually giving us the opportunity to have that tokens. So it's gonna be 300,000 tokens for our own community. And please go ahead and share this live series up until 1,500 shares. For us to actually give back to the project for us to uh, of course support them at the same time all right it's gonna be three hundred thousand in tokens from dream quest okay shout out from 
Cebu. Hello there, Kiam Nova Vera Cruz. Alright, so it's gonna be like, for example, guys, you actually have 1,000 or 100, um, or 1,500 tokens from the Dream Quest. Just imagine that Dream Quest tokens will be actually $1. It's not very, very impossible to do that, especially it's IDO. It's not yet listed in the exchanges. And just multiply 1,500 times 1. It's gonna be 1,500 in US dollars. So, please go ahead and share this live series up until 1,500. So we can definitely give back and, of course, support Dreams Quest as well. I'll be right back. And, of course, please do share this live series. I'll be choosing the winners in a while. I'll see you later.
all right guys so let's go ahead and do the raffle giveaway are you all ready let me just go ahead let's go ahead and share this up until 1500 1,500 everyone <clears throat> All right so let me just go ahead and get approval now for the prizes. One moment. So I'll do a shout out today. Hello there, Eric Serda. Hello there, John Paul Vivas. Thank you so much for sharing and being a top fan. Hello there, Andrew. All right, let's reach 1,500 shares. And actually, we're going to track all the ones who actually... Okay. So, I'll be releasing a form. Now. This is exclusively for the one who's actually watching right now. Give us a moment. Alright, so for everyone, we're not going to do the ninja today. So what we're going to do is actually send out a form for you to answer and then I'll close the form after 15 minutes and everyone will have the tokens and we will actually uh, distribute it equally for the 300,000 tokens we will not be using ninja for us to be fair for all of the ones who's actually watching up until the end so I'll give you, hold on, I will give you time to answer the form, and you will be the one who's going to get the token, alright? I will close the form after, so please go ahead, I'll go ahead and share the form. So for the 108 viewers that we have, please share it up until 1,500. This will be equally distributed sa lahat ng nanonood today. For us to be fair for those who's watching right now. And the form is here. I'll be pinning it. And I'll be closing the form soon, around 6 p.m. <clears throat> okay, guys? 6 p.m. Please do answer the form in the pin section. So all of you will have the chance to be distributed sa coins na 300,000 worth ng tokens nila. For us to be fair... Kung sino nanonood mula umpisa hanggang huli. So, sa lahat ng nanonood, tatagalugin ko po. Please answer the form in the pinned comment. In the pinned comment, guys. And then, kung sino yung mag-a-answer ng form, siya yung bibigyan ko ng distribution para sa token. Alright?
just put your address your email address your telegram and then i'll go ahead and distribute this to everyone okay guys the form is working and there's already 14 responses 10 more minutes until i close the form thank you so much we're not gonna be having ninja today because of course for the equality and fairness sa mga nanood kanina na 83 ang sa form sa lahat sila lahat sila mag-a-answer and then at the same time i-close ko siya ng 6 pm <clears throat> All right. So go ahead and answer the form, guys. You can drop your questions for Dream Quest. Hello there, Vincent Charcos. Telegram is your Telegram username. Address new. Alright, so there's a form that you can answer and also the question for Dreams Quest. And I will submit this to them. We already have 63. Mas maganda pala yung ganto, so you'll know para hindi matawag at itatag na lang sa huli pag raffle giveaway na. So every time that I'm going to do a live series, I'll be dropping a link for those who's really watching and of course engaging to Block Tides community live series. And by the way, we're still uh, getting scholarships for Axie Infinity. And right now, we're going to choose who's actually a tough fan, both in place war and block tides okay all right so eight more minutes until i close the form we already have 83 and i yes could those to those who stayed and watch actually ever since the beginning of this live series because ninja is actually i thought of it is actually time consuming at the same time um too lenient enough <laughs> para sa nagaantay lang for the raffle giveaway so for this is actually an honor and respect for those who actually watch our live series ever since the beginning And next time, uh, in the future uh, live series, we'll be asking a question from the speaker. If you really understand the project. So, you need to actually pass the quiz for you to be eligible. For you to be eligible to actually get tokens and prizes, okay? Alright, so, for uh, six more minutes, everyone. Six more minutes. Six more minutes. So all of the future live series, just a heads up, we're gonna be doing this and we can actually post the form anytime, anywhere during the live series, okay? Just for us to actually check if you're really supporting, not just for the raffle giveaway, guys. <clears throat> Address sa puso nyo, guys. <laughs> Address sa puso nyo po ang kailangan. <laughs> Address sa bahay. I, I actually made the mistake, guys. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, email address and the, what do you call this? The 
telegram is actually good already all right guys go ahead and answer the form five more minutes i will close the form I already have 103 participants and congratulations and again I really want to thank everyone for supporting especially dun sa 63 na tao na solid na nanonood earlier 83 na nanonood that's what I really appreciate the most so yeah this is all for you this is for fair and square kasi kung raffle giveaway and of course yun lang pala it's not fair for us as well. All right. Ah, oh, that's okay if you put your ERC-20. <laughs> it's four minutes. Alright, so please go ahead and share this live series. Address sa bahay. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> so this one is for the equality after so many, after one year, us doing it. So I realize that it's very fair sa lahat ng nanonood for us to actually do that. Kahit my nose is bleeding until matapos tong live niyo, ma'am, support kita. Thank you so much, Ivy Pantoja. Yeah, my favorite daw kasi si Ninja. Sabi ni Jonabel Bells. This is one fair and square. My favorites kasi si Ninja. Alright, guys, yung form medyo magulo. <laughs> Name, email, address sa bahay, telegram, what I really need is, hindi ko siya na-remove na kasi. So, telegram is what we need. Telegram. Three more minutes. Thank you so much, Mary Ann Morris, for your support. Even though I cannot see your comment and you're a silent watcher. So, nag -e ka na dito sa bahay, puro block tides ang pinanonood ng mga anak ko. Thank you so much. 200 more shares. IP address pwede rin. Address ng kapitbahay pwede rin. Hello, shout out to you, Dave De Templo Nuevo. Yes. Because it's fair and square, right? Instead of us waiting for Ninja and it will take a long time like two hours for us to wait for the people it's very lenient so for one year we've already done that and this time is actually fair for those viewers so it's 117 viewers already pa share ng skincare routine uh skincare routine ko safeguard no uh now i'm really taking care of my skin so it's actually what do you call that uh, Eskinol. <laughs> no, Neutrogena. And then, the one that we actually bought, Jeju. Jeju. There is... Oh! <laughs> okay, may na inabot na ang aking mother. So, ito rin, Celetec. <laughs> Celetec after uh, every day. Celetec, Neutrogena, and etong oil from, saan nga ba galing to? Madagascar, Centella. Look it, sa, look it up sa Shopee, Centella, Ampule. <laughs> Ampule ang pangalan. Madagascar, Centella, tsaka Celetec. Yan ang aking pangpabata, guys. <laughs> and then, kailangan may prayer siya at the same time. 
uh, I am youthful. Ganon. Kaya ako nako formal today is because I'm one of the moderators for Ada's LitCon. Uh, after this, so 7 p.m. Stay tuned. Uh, it's actually a big conference, online conference sa Europe. So guys, I'll go ahead there later after this. I need to eat. I didn't eat yet. Lunch ni pa. <clears throat> More power, Miss Myrtle. Jenna Wanilia. Okay, it's 6 o'clock. So I'll do this time now. I'll close the form. One moment. I'll close the form now, everyone. And by the way, thank you so much for supporting Block Tides. Let me go ahead and close the form now. How can I close it? One moment. All right, so yung na snapshot dito sa form na to, I already exported it. Wala na pong hahabol. It's already done. I'll be saving it para clear na lahat. All right, it's already saved. So responses, and this will not be edited anymore kasi na ano ko na yung pinaka Raw file niya. Okay, guys? Wala na pong hahabol. Alright. So, just an announcement that our IDO as well will be live late October for Place War. Guys, just an important announcement for Place War that the IDO will be uh, actually secret uh, running, will be running in multiple IDOs. What are IDOs, guys? Just to share that there's a lot of people. Sana all daw may, may closure. Sabi ni Andrea Loyola. So, when it comes to IDO, guys, there's a lot of people who already became millionaires in participating in the IDO pre-sale of each project. Okay? So, just a tip. If ever that you want to participate, this is not a financial advice. This is just an education and of course the experience if you're going to participate uh, of course don't spend the money that you're not going to afford to lose okay so so IDOs are actually pre public sale bago malista sa exchanges so when it comes to ICO as well nangyari na rin yan for bitcoin before it was released to the public and all of the, all of the exchanges that you can see so if you can see in the in the traditional businesses, they call it IPO, initial public. Uh, I forgot. I forgot for the traditional businesses. But it's actually IPO. But when it comes to uh, cryptocurrencies, way way back. So for Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, all of the altcoins that you can see in the exchanges is called nagdaan sila sa ICO stage before. Uh, ma public sa mga exchanges. Okay? So, doon maraming yung mayaman. Ano ma? Actually, meron ng bago ngayon. So, it is uh, before, wala pa yung IDO. Right? So, IEO nangyari yun. Initial Exchange Offering. Which is, nag occur siya sa mga exchanges. And now, since DeFi is here, Initial DEX offering, which is makikita nyo sa DEXs, and of course, launch pads. For example, um, ano ba yung mga launch pads? Sushi Swap, um, Engine Starter, and a lot more. So, you'll just search that in the internet, of course, what are the launch pads. And then, of course, the new one actually right now, I figured out yesterday. So, meron ng initial NFT offering. Alright? So, it's very becoming booming, innovating. So, yeah. So, for all of the ones who actually answered the form, guys. So, yeah. An An Ancheta Alejo. ICO, IEO, IDO. So, ngayon meron ng INO. Initial NFT offering. Okay, guys? 
So, hindi po siya offering sa kung saan mang sacrifice, but it is for <laughs> the terms that we use for the businesses. Yeah, initial public offering. So, yun. Maraming yung mayaman dito and there's a lot of investors. Kung gusto nyo talaga maging quality investors, not just looking in the Binance Smart Chains uh, projects na hindi mo mapagkakatiwalaan, please make sure to check if it's backed by a venture capital. Alright? So, if it's backed by a venture capital, it's more solid, especially that you can see the team behind it. Alright? So, I'm not actually bragging about Place War, but we are a venture back capital and will release the major investors that we have. And I'm really excited to actually um, shout it out already, but just wait for the announcement for the backers, the strong backers that we have for Place War, guys. All right, so we've closed almost uh, the private sale already. It's uh, $2.2 million. And yes, we're already done. And yes, we're already almost going public. It's my first time and I hope that you support it, guys. Okay? So, again and again, congratulations sa lahat ng nag-answer for, uh, sa, sa form. So, expect to have the coins after uh, maybe the IDO. I'll speak to the team of Dreams Quest. All of you for sure will have the tokens, okay? And it's 1,751 1, shares with 125 viewers. Thank you so much, okay? So, I'll do a shout out now. Yeah, solid ang place war. That's why I've been busy. If you've noticed that for three weeks, I'm not doing any live series because I want this to become successful and not just a pochu pochu project out there that you can see sa Binance Smart Chain and whatever. We are trusted. We have solid backers at the same time. It's gonna be big when it comes to the investors that we have. I know you're all pretty excited, but of course, Stay tuned dahil we will post all of the investors' highlights and the partners that we have. Alright? So, what makes us different, by the way, guys? By the way, we are a multi-chain project. Gas fee is what we're going to solve. So, the transfer between NFT assets, it's not going to be a burden anymore. Alright? And by the way, we already have the L1 grant. Four from Conflux. Guys, it's worth of 15,000 for three months. Solid grant from Conflux, by the way, for them to help with our marketing for Place War. So I'm really excited. There's a lot of partners uh, to be soon announced in our social media channels. And again and again and again, shout out to ASO, <laughs> Mark Gerald de la Cruz. Thank you so much for watching up until the end. Ice Bautista, the solid supporters that I have, the solid supporters of Block Tides and Place War. Because guys, again and again, if you remember Gunbound Worm before in the 90s, yung mga tumatakas pa sa bahay just for you to play Gunbound like me. <laughs> Yes, it's gonna be happening soon and it's also integrated with a Clash of Clan type of game. You can definitely invade others as well in our Placedonia map. And don't forget our Okada Manila event. It will happen soon. It's gonna be invite only for those who really support us. And we're not gonna be inviting everyone unfortunately. But of course, we've already sent invitations to those who really matters the most to our uh to block tides who's really supporting block tides and we're really excited we're not gonna stop until we reach our goal and thank you so much for supporting block tides please stay safe please stay healthy guys and congratulations sa lahat ng nanood this is how i reward loyal people please stay safe please stay healthy and god bless you everyone bye bye